What's up everyone, my name is Ngaric, welcome back to Ancestry! We are going to try to hop into another multiplayer game. This time I do not have, uh, Kinai is not online, so we probably won't be going up against him again. But, um, yeah, I think my look at my deck deck is doing well for me so far. I mean, I've, I've won one multiplayer game, and, uh, one bot game with it, I believe. I think I won that game, didn't I? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I won that game, but either way, I'm just gonna sit here and wait. Alright, we are going against someone named Vivi. I'm ready. Look at my deck, Vivi. Look at it. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Starting hand, Atsu, Mati, Meteorite. I think I'm just gonna get rid of the Meteorite and the Atsu, and I'm gonna stick with my Mati. Nice, we got a Seppo here. And then we are going to... throw down my Mati. I think I've gone first both times in my multiplayer games. There we go. We got the totem. Oh, he summoned his Mati right away. I'm not sure that's the best choice. Unless he's going for a split play. Which he might be. Okay, so let's go with... Move on up here. Summon my Seppo. I'm gonna go straight up there. If I have to, I can fire up ball anything that he, uh... He summons up. And I have two of my charges ready. Oh no, he went for a weird, he went for a weird thing here. So let's see, we're gonna move forward. Uh, let's see, fireball or meteorite? I can, I can not reach with a fireball. Uh, so I don't really have anything to do there. But I'm gonna move him on over. I'm going for the greedy, the greedy split here. But even if I don't get this one, it's fine because I'm pretty confident that I'm gonna get this one. Keho, huh? That one's probably gonna get fireballed. Oh, I can't get on top of it. Mm. Do I wanna fireball it? It would be a good use of my mana right now. Yeah, this is getting used to my mana right now. Alright, I got another totem though. What are we doing? Uh, 2 6. Alright, that's fine. Probably gonna possibly move over and go for a meteorite. Maybe not. This is a 2 6, 2 range. You know what, let's... Throw this down. Move back here. And stick my face over here. Yep, that's what I'm going with. I'm going with the uh, contain play on this side. Jonah, oh, 3-3. Three, three with free range, so I'm gonna be able to smash it with my Seppo. And I'm gonna be able to save the Ice Shards as well. So let's move up right here. And smash this thing. Then I'm also going to come over here. I'm gonna poke his, poke his dude. I'm gonna come over here. We're gonna kill each other. But that remains mine, keep in mind. And let's see, two health. We're going to heal up that guy. And my my uh, shaman will stay right here. I'm saving the ice shards for like any like really big elder that he brings out. Simo is gonna get a meteorite to the mouth. It's probably gonna go right here. Oh. Unless he trades in. He should probably trade into the 2-6. B6. 
because it would keep him alive. Yep. Good move. Well, we are gonna go with the meteorite, like I was saying, because it's gonna hurt both. And then I can move up, poke his face, and go for another contain. I can't summon my Simo yet, but when I do, I'm gonna have charge for him. Look at my deck, VV. Look at my deck. Oh, he went with the Matty. Which kind of sucks because I really don't want to summon the Simo into the Mati. Oh, I could do it on the Kalevi. Kalevi. That might be it. I cannot summon the other Simo. Bring it right there. Poke him. Not bad. I'm gonna block this with my shaman. It's risky, because he can start hitting me, but it means that he won't capture it, and that's less points that he's gonna get. While I am continuing to get three. I could have moved this up, now that I think about it. That probably would have been the smart play, is moving up the, um, the Seppo. Probably would have been the smart play. Curious to see if he goes for the Mati, or if he goes for my shaman. It looks like he's going for my shaman. Vivi, no! Okay. Draw three cards, nice. Elder Jonah, though. 5 7. I am going to be able to trade into this. Just favorable, in my opinion. And we are going to summon this on this side because it has a lot of movement. has a lot of movement, and this guy is not going to want to mess with it. But I have these three things all collecting me points every turn, so it's going to be pretty, pretty difficult to... Elder Mati. Three damage to all adjacent. I'm going to be able to kill probably the Asteri. The Asteri is what I'm kind of concerned about. The Atzo would be really nice, though. Let's see. Five damage. Let's come up here. And we're gonna poke the 3 4. Oh, it's out of range. Then we will poke the Mati. And I'm gonna move up here. Get rid of the 4 6. And summon another Simo. And move back here. So he either chases me or doesn't. I have all four totems now. There we go. GG. Fight fire with five. I guess that is get to level five. Reach level five, yeah. So I got to level five. That was that was a little bit rough. I um I feel like I kinda just annihilated that game. But that's Ancestry, my name is Nigark, and thank you for watching. Vivi, if you're out there, I'm sorry.